Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss about architecture of hive and components of hive. In components of hive, we will discuss a uh, two points: hive shell and hive cuvel. So, first point is architecture of hive. In this diagram, this is hive architecture. First one is data application means any client tool like any command line tool or open source tools. So we can execute hive table. We can create a table, select a table. We can execute a query. Query hive using SQL query. Whenever writing any queries that will interactive hive engine, that hive engine again that execute engine and test default. Test coordinate what will the data processing like data processing application request and re-execute. Then yarn is the resource of a manager and big data. So there yarn interact with DFS, this HDFS file, whatever we installing HDFS file system. So that request and respond. We pass through all the engine that hive engine and tail is the default and yarn manager let's see the some important points in hive architecture so first is user interface that is ui second one driver third one compiler fourth one is meta store and fifth one is execution engine in this diagram this is hive architecture first step is ui then execute query my first step is executing query in ui for example I am running a query that query will send to a driver that's hive driver that's hive driver will validate and it will send to compiler their prepare execution plan this driver need to send a compiler that I need execution plan to run this query that compiler need to understand whatever hearing writing queries those say structure that metadata is there or not that compiler need to metadata next set is to get metadata from meta store in hive metadata is stored in meta store so the compiler request to meta store for need the metadata means table column and all ddl information that meta store getting a data to compiler and compiler will send the plan to driver and then the driver will execute the plan on execution engine then execution engine send that request to hadoop so in hadoop create a job tracker we can see here whenever we execute a job it will create a job tracker creating here those will send where you are storing a Hadoop file systems name node and data node and it will verify whatever you requesting a data it will verify both nodes data nodes and name nodes first name node it will contain file information in Hadoop and data node storing original data in data node Whatever we are going request queries, then response sent to your execution queries. Then the data will send to execute query, then sending again to a driver. And driver show the result in UI, that is user interface. This all the complete step. So next one point is Hive Shell. Hive Shell is a primary way to interact with Hive. It is default service in Hive. It is also called as CLI. CLI is a legacy tool which has mainly two cases. First one is it is served as the client for SQL in Hadoop. And second one is it is served as a command line tool for Hive Survey. Uh, Hive shell is similar to MySQL shell. Hive shell can run in two modes. First one is non-interactive mode and second one is in hive commands support data definition language and data manipulation language and user defined function show in diagram in ddl command 
create database drop database create a table drop table alter table create index and create views and in dml command select where group by order by load data and join next one is hiveql the hive query language this is hiveql this query language for hive to process or analyze structured data in a meta store hive is an open source for reading writing and managing a large data set file that is stored directly in either the hadoop distribution file hdfs or other data store system such as apache and hivebase hiveql is similar to sql it has a data type like sql data type and collection data type in simple data type we have int boolean float string and the bi binary type it's different from sql in collection data type we have struct map array for example if we have address field you can define it struct because it has city state and zip code hive ql both ddl and dml command we can create a table create a database we can use show table command to get the 